Chinese cuisine is something that we all enjoy and we're always looking for different and interesting recipes. Today I'm going to show you guys a wonderful recipe. This is sesame chicken. Uh, this is actually a chicken lover's delight. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For the sesame chicken, first I'm going to marinate the chicken strips. For this I've taken 500 grams of breast. So you can see I've cut the breast pieces into long thin strips. Now you can also cut them into cubes. To this add about 5 to 6 large cloves of garlic finely chopped. Next add 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon pepper, 2 to 3 teaspoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of corn flour, 1 finely chopped red chilli. This is optional. If you don't have red chilli, you can also use a green chilli. 1 lightly beaten egg. Mix everything together. Massage the pieces gently so all the marinade sticks to them. Let the chicken pieces marinate for about 1 hour minimum. Heat some oil for deep frying. Add the marinated chicken pieces. Deep fry them till they are slightly golden in color. You can cook the chicken breast pieces for about 3 to 4 minutes. Once they are cooked and golden in color, take them out and keep it aside. Next, I'm going to prepare a sauce for the chicken strips. First, take 3 tablespoons of ketchup. Next, add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Vinegar, 1 tablespoon. Honey, 2 tablespoons. Next, add 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix everything together. Heat the pan, add the prepared sauce. Just add a little water. I'm just going to cook the sauce for a couple of minutes. To prepare the corn flour slurry, I've taken 4 tablespoons of corn flour. Add enough water to make a nice corn flour slurry. Make sure the corn flour is completely dissolved. So there you go, the corn flour slurry is ready. Keep this aside. You can see the sauce is slowly bubbling up. Add the corn flour slurry. Just mix the slurry once before pouring into the sauce. Keep the flame on low. Pour a little water and cook the sauce. So as you cook, you can see the color change. It changes to a lovely dark brown color. Make sure to keep whisking it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom or the lumps are not formed. So you can see the sauce is thickened beautifully. It's got a lovely glaze to it. So make sure you cook the sauce till it's nice and creamy like this. It's got a nice glaze to it. It's thickened. Now I'm going to add the chicken pieces. Just mix everything. Let the chicken simmer in the sauce for about 2-3 to three minutes so that the sauce has coated the chicken pieces beautifully. I'm finally going to garnish it with some spring onion greens, chopped red chilli, some toasted sesame seeds. Your sesame chicken is ready to be served. You can see the chicken is so juicy and tender and it's absolutely blended with the sauce. So the sauce is coated the chicken beautifully. Now you can serve this with some nice rice or noodles by the side. So as you can see from the recipe, it's loaded with flavours. It's a combination of sweetness and tanginess to it. 
the chicken is extremely soft and moist and it's a great recipe. You can see it's got a beautiful sauce that goes extremely well with any fried rice or noodles. So do try this recipe and enjoy. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 Frames.